Welcome to my first and hopefully last version of Am I the Asshole? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Billy Tarasio, Arizona, family law attorney and owner of Modern Law, and Twitter and Facebook certainly thinks that I am the asshole. <sighs> yeah, this is my first moment of bad PR, and um, I wanted to know what my TikTok friends think. So here's the situation. Um, we have a, a lot of people that work for the firm. One of them is a managing attorney of mine. Her name's Kylie, and she's worked for me for a long time. Now last, she has four-year-old twins, and they go to school full-time, but she's constantly getting called to pick them up from school or they have to stay home because they're sick. This was a huge problem for her last year. So one of the things that we decided we would do this year is we would hire her a legal assistant who could also go be a childcare provider so for that person would assist her with her legal duties and you know entry level position to learn how to be a legal assistant. But if Kylie's kids got sick, that person would stop being a legal assistant because Kylie already has a full-time paralegal and she would go pick up the kids and help watch the kids so that Kylie could still do Kylie's job as a managing attorney. Now, Twitter and Facebook think that, that this is absurd, that this is sexist, that it's not very modern, am I right? That what, you wanna hire a mom? And I think they're wrong. I think that moms have to juggle, and dads have to juggle parenting and professional responsibilities all the time. And it doesn't make sense for Kylie to have an on-time, on-call full-time nanny while she's also paying for her children to be in school full-time. So I, as a modern employer, am helping her solve this solution in a way that I think is super progressive. But you tell me if I'm the asshole on this because Twitter and Facebook don't think so. They have a couple of other issues. They hate that I would ask the legal professional to balance um, two different job duties. Well, I'm not asking them to do them at the same time. If Kylie's kids need to be watched, then they are relieved of their legal assistant duties because she doesn't actually need a legal assistant. I'm just trying to solve her problem. The other thing they really don't like is the pay range, which was listed at 14 to $24 an hour on Indeed. Now I changed that to 20 to 24 because we don't pay anyone under $20 an hour, but still that's absolutely offensive to them. So tell me, what do you think? Am I the asshole? Would I be better off telling my lawyers to just figure it out on their own because that I, their employer, don't care enough about them as a human to solve their whole problem? Or am I right and this is a super progressive, super great way to handle your employees and invite an entry-level professional from childcare into the legal world? Let me know.